guys, you are joining us from George's bedroom. It's very dark in here, it always is dark in here because we've got the blind and then underneath that we've got like the blackout blind. So I apologize about that. And you can see like the light that we have gives off this really mad like lighting situation. But I thought I would come to you. But I thought I would come to you quickly to say hi. We are currently on our weekend, our weekend together, which has been lovely. We've done lots of fun things. We've been to soft play. We have been to a wildlife park as well. But it is currently Sunday and I thought that today we would just have a chilled one. George has had two really good naps today, which I'm very grateful for. And I thought I would just grab the camera and say hi, vlog a little bit today and then probably a little bit next week as well. Little man just bumped his head and he wasn't very happy about it. Where you done him? We decided to come out for a little walk because George was getting a bit pent up in the house, plus he hit his head, so I thought some fresh air would probably do us both some good. The weather is not amazing, but it's not raining, so it's still quite warm, but the weather's not like, it looks like it's gonna rain basically. But I have got a rain cover and a rain jacket for me just in case. The rain jacket's come out like four minutes into the walk. George's hood's up. Yeah, the spitting it started, but I needed to come up for a walk for my own sake. It's a bit funny though, it's supposed to be August. Like, what is this weather? This summer's been a joke, and yeah, not impressed. I literally like an egg. Committed though, I need to go and collect a prescription from Boots, hence the walk. I'm halfway there now. If I walk back, I would be there by then. Just running the bath for George. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm just running the bath for George, and he's literally cracking up. Why is he so funny? Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Is it a lot of fun? Should we get in the bath? Where are you going? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I'm coming to get ya. <laughs> day now and I'm having a bit of a nightmare because the childminder is sick which means I am at home with George today who's currently down here and um, I'm also working from home so I'm currently on my lunch break but it is just I know darling that's how I feel too um, yeah that's the thing with having a childminder is if they're sick you can't really do anything about it and you kind of just have to deal with it it's also super busy at work, so um, it's not really an option for me to not log on. So it is just like, it would just be so much easier if I could take George out. Hi! It would just be so much easier if I could take George out for a little walk or something, but obviously I can't leave my laptop, so. <sighs> I'm just gonna have to try and do this. Can't leave my laptop, so. We're just gonna have to try and do this. Um, 
We've done lunch, we had hummus and carrots. I'm just rather hoping that Georgie's gonna go down for a little nap um, this afternoon and I can crack on with some work stuff and then potentially just have to log off early because I can't exactly do either job properly. I can't be a good mum and I cannot do my job properly if I'm sort of balancing the two. So yeah, it's just a bit of a stressful day, but I will catch up with you guys in a couple of days, hopefully when Georgie's back at the Trailminders or if I'm off work or something like that, then I'll catch up with you guys and update you on how things are going. Thanks, George. Look at my glasses, thank you. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna let the sun shine in today. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give up. Gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of people talking And the wind blowing in the trees So just put George down for a little nap And which means I can probably crack on If he goes to sleep um, Give it ten minutes if he doesn't go to sleep He's been up for like three hours so he should be doing a nap Literally the state of me <laughs> I don't even care. Um, so yeah, hopefully I can crack on some work and see how much I get done. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to go, but talk to you later. It's a lot later now and I've had a stressful day, I'm not going to lie. It's been a bit much because I've been looking after George, trying to work um, alongside that and it's just like impossible. It just is impossible to like really focus on something when you've got George and equally I just feel really guilty because... I'm either ignoring him, like, to do something to do with work, or just, um, like, not doing my job properly, so it's just a bit, yeah, um, but anyway, it's a lot later on now, George went down, like, a dream today at about 7 o'clock, so, um, yeah, I've had some time to, like, catch up on things, and I had a few packages that were delivered that I haven't gone through yet, and I thought it'd be cool to go through them on the vlog, I don't often do that, and I quite like doing unboxings and stuff on Instagram, but I haven't been on my Instagram stories today, and just going on my phone, um, onto Instagram, like, the thought of that, I have so many messages in my DMs and stuff, the thought of going on, like, gives me anxiety because <laughs> I know that obviously so many unread messages and I want to go through them so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna leave it for today I think but I thought I would share a couple of packages that I had from a couple of brands so the first one is a small independent clothing brand called Rock and Rudy and I'm really happy actually look how cute this is this is the brand Rock and Rudy they've sent me a couple of outfits for George in his next size up I think you guys are going to really like them they're both organic cotton and they're all completely made and everything in the UK so I thought it'd be really cool to share them with you so the first one is they look huge by the way because they're in 12 to 18 months I haven't washed them yet so I'm expecting them to like shrink a little bit but this is the first one i just thought it was such a beautiful color it's this romper and like i said it is 12 to 18 months so i'll be probably wearing this from the age of like one plus so from like september october time but i thought this was really sweet you could always in the um autumn months wear like a little vest underneath it um if he needs to but i just thought that was so cute and the detail is like just these little crosses and stuff it's really nice it's like nice and elasticated um but like i said it's like all um organic cotton as well which i thought was really cute so yeah that was the first little outfit and then the second one were pjs but i thought you could definitely use these as non pjs i guess i love anything with rainbows on and this is just so cute so this is the top again all like organic cotton and everything i just thought that was so nice so sweet and then the bottoms are to match and they're pretty much like little leggings so yeah they are pajamas but i figured like george would i could i could get away with that for george as a daytime outfit <laughs> I don't know if anyone else would, but I really like it. So they're the two things that I decided to get from Rock and Rudy. I love them. I think George is going to really, really suit them. Um, and yeah, I'm just starting his like collection of 12 to 18 month clothes. And these are the first sort of additions to that. So I'll link them down below. I'll link their Instagram and stuff down below as well. The next parcel I got was from a brand called Cheeky Chompers. And I've never heard of them before, but actually I've looked through their 
website and also on the Instagram and stuff. And I actually think the idea is such a good idea. So I thought I would share them with you. Um, essentially, they do really, really cool travel bundles for teething babies. And we all know that George is very much a teething baby right now. So also the name Cheeky Jumpers, I think is such a good name. So first thing is this cheeky blanket, which is luxurious, soft and it's attachable to like baby buggies and stuff like that. I got it in this dino print because I just love a bit of dinosaur for George, I'm not gonna lie. Thought it was so cute and you can get it personalized, which I thought was so sweet. It says George on it and um, yeah, so it's like one of them blankets that you can attach to the buggy. So it kind of tucks at the bottom and it's got these poppers. So I can have that like actually like around him if that makes sense like the poppers at the side can actually attach to the um buggy so i thought that was really handy also maybe in the car seat like in the winter and stuff i can pop that on top of the car seat so that's actually going to be really handy for on the go and things like that but more for like summer when we don't need blankets there's loads of really really cool teething bits so we've got the handy chew which you can actually pop around their wrist and then that little bit here is good for chewing on um, and I just thought that was such a good idea. You can even attach a dummy if you like need to. Obviously George doesn't have a dummy but you can attach a dummy to that and it can be like this big thing they have on their wrist. I think that's such a good idea because when it comes to teething, this kind of material is perfect. George literally gravitates towards anything that's rubber. So the fact that he could have this as a proper teether, um, I think that's like, oh and it's got a crinkly ear look. He loves like rubbing things like that so i can imagine this would comfort him and he'd have something to choose so actually that's a really cool one i like that one a lot and again this one is the comfort chew so again like i said george really likes to rub things like with he, he like he because he sucks his thumb he sucks his thumb generally and then he'll twiddle his hair or if he's got like a muslin or a teddy or something near him he will definitely stroke that so the fact again that this bit here is the teething part again like that made from that rubber material um yeah he's gonna really definitely get so much use out of this like i said anything that he can stroke and chew on he's definitely gonna use and it's also got george's name on as well i do love that you can personalize these ones so yeah again he's definitely gonna get a lot of use out of that the two that i'm actually really excited about which i never really had seen before is these neck chews or necker chews sorry so they're basically just bibs but at the bottom they've got these like rubber bits that they can chew on. How perfect is that? Because obviously when babies are teething, they are dribbling like mad. George dribbles so much and he gets a bit of a rash and stuff underneath like his neck where all the dribbles get into him. But obviously if he has this on when we're out and about, he can use this to teeth on, like chew that and it will obviously catch all the dribble. And these are really good quality, like probably the best quality bibs I've ever felt, like really thick like really gonna catch all of that dribble so the fact that i've got two it is very very handy when one's in the wash the other one can come out of us so actually i'm really impressed with this bundle i feel like a lot of these are going to be like travel essentials the thing that i love about brands like this is they are made by mums for mums it's not made by some massive corporate company it's made by mums that understand like the struggles of teething babies for example like i'm not being funny like the amount of times where george has teethers yeah of course but he drops them and then it goes on the floor then there's dog hair all over it god knows what else so i have to sterilize it whereas if something's like attached to him it's literally not going to fall off so it's just such a genius idea so yeah i rate this a lot and i can't wait to start using them but yeah i thought i would just share them with you as i was unboxing them i guess the only other thing that i've got to do today or tonight is try and figure out what i want to get george for his birthday because it's his birthday in a month he's gonna be one 